welcome back to Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky, the second chapter, where we last left off, we discovered that the epicenter, or the original origination point for all of these dreadful earthquakes, is actually occurring in the hot springs down at Elmo Village. So it looks like we need to hightail it on down there right fucking quick. I do want to quickly stop off at the, um, at the store, though, just to make sure that everybody's kitted out with the best that they can be kitted out with. Um, and mostly my concern is for Tina, but it looks like she already has the P07, and it seems like everybody else is, uh, tibbity topped out, so that was completely pointless, really. Uh, everybody's at full health, so yeah, we don't even need to, like, stop briefly by a, um, a, uh, inn or anything. Uh, hopefully I'm going the right way. Yes. So as long as we... I kind of want to do something like this. Oh god, not the sheep. Well, it's just a single bunny, so I think we can take that hit. Not the sheep. Actually, I probably do want to run so I can actually see what's ahead of me. As much as I can, at any case. So Elmo's this way. So we'll stick to the path and pretty much avoid everything because the sheep are right fucking assholes. And I have no interest in fighting them again. Not a fucking spit of interest. Just keep, just keep running. Just keep going. Straight shot, straight down to Elmo. That's all we need. Don't need to get distracted. Excellent. And we're there. Took like 20 seconds. Oh God, what was Mal's, what was Mal's voice? I don't, I don't remember. I think I'll just give her a generic old lady voice. <laughs> Aha, good, good, you're here. This is Mal! Try not to make it racist. <laughs> Hello, Estelle, dear child. It's but it's been ages. You look so grown up, rather like your father. Ah, come on, Mrs. Mal, we're actually here on business. I think Calicchio or Mr. Murdoch called ahead. That he did. I just got off the phone with Murdoch a little while ago. There have been earthquakes all over the region, eh? Odd. Odd nothing. This whole thing is bizarre. Maybe you can help us. Actually, I'd like to turn that around. I was about to contact the guild anyway. Something strange happened just a few hours ago. What? An earthquake hit here too? I almost wish. An earthquake might be a bit less destructive. Well, picture's worth a thousand words, eh? Come see it for yourself. The whole place has just been completely destroyed. It's so. Uh, the water's really hot. I'm guessing. What the fuck? The springs are boiling over! Ugh. This is really bizarre. The water isn't supposed to get this hot. Believe me, I like to know what's going on here too. Right after I got off the phone with Murdoch, I heard a big fuss out here. I came out to see what was going on and found this. Maybe the pump is broken somehow? It might be emitting heat or... Wait, no. It couldn't heat all this water. No, the pump's working just fine. I checked it a second ago. The way I see it, something at the source of the springs must have changed. So I'm guessing temperature changes like this aren't too common. It never happened while I've been here, and I've been here almost half a century. It's worrying, to say the least. To be honest, this may have something to do with the earthquakes. If something is stimulating the septum bands, might that heat the water further? That's, uh, really likely, actually. If the water keeps getting hotter, the springs will be too dangerous to live near. Like heck, we'll let that happen. Come on, let's go find the problem. Mrs. Mao, where exactly is the source of the springs? Would you mind if we investigated the problem? I thought you might ask that, so I fished out, uh, fished this out of the back of the drawer. Go on, take it. Wooden gate key. A key? Mm-hmm. The key is to the wooden gate near the pump shed. The cave down to the source of the springs is that way. Sweet, then, thanks, Mrs. Mal. I didn't know there was a cave like that. You're always so on the ball, Mrs. Mal, thank you. Oh, don't worry. We're the ones asking for you for a favor, after all. Can't well let the customers boil themselves like eggs, and we can't even use our water for washing. Counting on you all to get this to, to the bottom of this. You can bet we will. Well, you could use the water for washing. You just let it cool down a bit. Once it's separated from the heat source, it'll start losing that heat. Therefore, it's usable once again. Well, wait. We'll be entering a cave we know little about to investigate temperature increase and the earthquakes. I think it'd be wise to make absolutely sure we're prepared before we go in. I suspect we might find a certain sunglasses wearing gentleman inside. We should be on our guard and prepare accordingly. Ah, yes. Mr. Cool Guy. Uh, wait, hold on, what's this? This is... Ah, oh, it's just a general food store. 
Well, we're at full health, except for except for Shara. So we might uh, want to kick it at the inn real quick, which is right over here. Take a little bit of a rest. Are you gonna charge me money? You are, you bitch. I thought we were friends. Fuck you, Mrs. Mao. Oh, thank you for coming out to fix my fix my springs and figure out the solve of this earthquake. Well, you want to sleep in a bed? Two hundred dollars. Fuck you, bitch. That is absolute nonsense. I'm gonna save before we before we go into some tunnels and start really rooting around and shit. So I'm guessing it's this way. We've saved. We're at full health. There's that. Ah, here we go. Gate is locked. Use the key. Splendid. Let's go. That gate's so small, I'm pretty sure we could have just hopped right over it. Hot Springs Fountainhead. Any monsters? There's a thing there and some stuff over there. Can't turn the camera. Alrighty. In we get. Ooh. It's very steamy down here. Very steamy. Hop Springs Fountainhead. Okay. Wow, it's really boiling in here. If you fell in there, the burns could kill you. It's scary. Water is certainly dangerous, but I'm even more worried about the steam. Steam is harder to avoid, and it's just as high as dangerous as the water. It's even hotter, actually. Um, very good point. The geysers seem to follow a pattern. We should watch them carefully and move ahead when we have an opening. All right, follow me. Okay. Wah. Waiting. Waiting. Go. Do do. What the hell are you? You're gonna do that. Reviving bomb. I don't. I don't see another progression point. I think we might have to take this guy out. Let me do this real quick. I think we might have to take him out. Let's take him out. Let's see what happens. So we got two little of these things. CP absorb. You piece of shit! It's a good thing I didn't try to grind that stuff out. If they were just gonna take it from me. Little assholes. Okay, let's take a look at these guys and see what we've got. So they're not really weak to anything, but they're pretty um, weak just in general. Prefers warm climates. Uh, sucks fluids out of prey for nutrition. What about the big guy? You are weak to water and air, and earth does nothing against you. You are a fairy epitaph. Okay. So, just raw attack these guys. And I think Tina might actually be able to land. Oh, no, I guess not. All right, well, focus on the ham then. Close. I think the fairy epitaph gets to move. Swarm of evil. Holy shit. Damn! Oh god, she's confused. She's gonna AOE us into the ground, isn't she? Alright, can you kill him? Thanks, babe. I appreciate it. HP absorb. Ah, oh, it sucks. Uh oh, don't don't do it. Don't oh no. Well, I just did raw damage. That's not that bad. We'll do that. And then it's your turn. Crap. Okay. You have this, which I want you to use on him. I want you to kill that. Uh, Tina, don't don't do it, Tina. Oh, you bitch. Swarm of evil. Oh, don't kill Chloe. Thank God. Alright. I'm gonna have you do your group heal once this lands. Shit, do it now. I don't I don't want that little bastard killing Chloe, so. Everybody heal up. Radiant Flask or whatever. Nice. I was worried that little guy was gonna attack Chloe, so that's why I did what I did. I did it because I had to, damn it. This thing needs to die. Haven. Damn. Alright. Here we go. Now, uh, now we can kill the little bastard. So, kill him, please. Cool, you can, uh, you can finish off the job then. Well done. 
and then we'll have you guys send some spells uh, his way. Do you have... what do you have? Aqua Bleed. I suppose you could do that, but I'm not really sensing the point. Go punch him! That was actually pretty decent. Oh no! You really seem to be intent on killing her. Which I can get. It does quite a bit of damage. I actually think um, we could probably kill him just by doing that and this. Let's see if this kills him. Come on, Tina. Oh, look at that Gatling gun! Ah, damn! That's pretty nuts. Ah, so close. Well done. Swarm of evil. I think Chloe might... Oh, no. Almost dead, but not quite. And then we can just punch him a few times and he's dead. Splendid! Let's hope I actually had to do that. Nice! Tina leveled up. Good job. Now, did I actually have to do that? Nope. I did not. Well, at least we know now, right? So... Is this another... No, that's not a cave. We go around you. And there's nothing there, and there's nothing there. We shoot by this. That's a lot of guys. This might have been a bad idea. Do I want to fight them, or... Maybe. Maybe. Do you have any AoE stuff? I don't think you do. I don't think you do. Try killing... that. Damn. I'm close. This might be a really bad idea, fighting all of these guys. I don't really know. Maybe I have to clear this whole place of monsters. Oh shit, you're almost dead. Oh, nope, now you're dead. Crap! That was my bad. Let's just bail. Like, where can I go, honestly? Because that's the way we came in. There's... Oh, there's another path over here. Oh, okay. Where does this go? Another big fucking guy there. Do I have any, um, revive items? I do. I do, actually, yeah, so... Let's just get you up, and I can give you one of these. And now you're good. Okay, before we fight him, let me check out the other way, which is up here. Which leads me... this way. Oh! We had, we had progression there. I'm so terrified of getting butt fucked. I just want to be prepared, you know? Especially after I spent potions to bring her back from the dead. Avoid you. Nice. It's really fucking hard to see with all this... Oh, crap. All this fucking steam and crap in my way. It's really making it, things difficult. Avoid Gemini boots. Are those good? That'd be equipment, actually. Uh, let's see. Up defense for you. That's just a raw increase for you. I don't really care about you. Let's give them. To, let's give them to you. There you go. And then we can. Hightail it on out of this section. Oh crap. That was my bad. Sorry, guys. Good go. Okay. Okay. This way, maybe? Oh man, I don't remember. There's a chest there. Preemptive attack will allow me to do this. Like a big coward. And then hopefully I can open this chest before he re aggros. Rainbow surprise. Good. Run. Awesome. So it's a recipe. Again, not something I'm really keen on using. Keep going this- ah, oh, crap. Oh no, that's a lot of people attacking me. Oh good. Oh good, that's what I wanted. This is gonna suck. 
Let me run, please. Please let me run. Please let me run. I really just want to go. Stop it, please. Please stop it. Please. Please stop it. Well, at least no one died. Thank God. There we go. Chest. Smelling salts. Let's keep going. Watch out for that. Watch out for him. Just run right by him. Don't even care. Save again. I'm so paranoid, man. I'm paranoid as fuck. We're not in the best of positions in terms of health and stuff. Avoid him. I think we're getting there. Wherever there is, I think we're getting there. Crap! You little fuckers. Yeah, you know, I, I might use this battle as an opportunity to heal, actually. Um... You focus on killing these things. And then I want you to cast... I think it's this one. Yes. And I want you to attack that thing. And then I want Tina to finish it off. There we go. And then you can heal everybody. Nice. Oh, Cher was at full health? Okay. okay. Then I want you to attack again. I'm hoping I can move Tina closer to them before... Oh, no, she's dead. Fuck. Well then, uh... You can, you can res her, can't you? Yeah. And hopefully, um... Hopefully, she won't die again. Now, can you... I don't think you can kill this thing in one go. Well, maybe. Oh, no, but you put it to sleep, which is which is just as good in my opinion. So that's nice. I want you to heal her. Excellent. So they're a lot better in terms of health and stuff now. And then hopefully uh, Chloe should just be able to stab its dick off and murder it. Excellent. So that actually wasn't that bad. A bit more EP out of Chloe than I would have liked, but... I did what I had to, so. Oh, here we go. I guess this is the, the primal spring. Oh, jeez. Hey, the water isn't boiling here. Looks like just the right temperature for a bath. I must admit, after our toils, a bath would feel very, very nice. You got that right. Water does look really good. Wouldn't hurt to dip our feet in, right? What bath it is, then. Ah. Uh... Oh, it's healing them and giving me CP. Oh, hell yes! Oh, man, I don't like the fact- I don't like this at all, actually. It's gonna throw something big at me, isn't it? If it's giving me this- this spot where I can just generate CP... This is bad. This is bad. Oh, I'm terrified now. Save. Well, that's- that's very nice, but I- I'm- I'm worried. Machine Planker? Holy shit. Equip. That's that's you all over. Oh my god. It's like a 200 point increase. That's nuts. What's this? Softening Balm. So, well, now that I've done this, I think we're gonna save for like the millionth time, and we're gonna call it there for the day. And next time, we will continue exploring these springs, hoping to find the end of it. Have a good one, guys.